Yeah, huh? It's melt again. Today you can call me judgmental melt. Wilderness melt. No, is it wilderness? Kind of. Today we're playing Animal Bastards. This game was recommended by a friend of mine just to play on my own because he wanted to know what I would get as far as like the results. But I thought it was such a weird and cute concept that I wanted to make a video about it. I think I'm gonna regret it a little bit because I bet this video was like less than five minutes. I don't know how long this game is because I only did one. But I was like, oh my god, I, I feel like, I feel like I want to share this. <laughs> it's free. It's just one of these like, uh, you go to the website and you just answer questions. But it's, uh, it was interesting. So. You ready to start judging some animals to see if they are or are not bastards? Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. This is the best I could do to make it look not terrible in my my window. All right. You ready? Welcome to Animal Bastards. It's animalbastards.com, by the way, if you want to play. I'll probably link it in the description, but just it's pretty easy to remember. In this game, you will be shown some animals and asked to judge them. Bastard or not a bastard. The impression first impressions matter, so you'll be asked to judge each animal on sight. Then, to help you decide, you'll be shown some facts highlighting the things those animals do that humans find particularly saintly or dastardly. This includes acts that some people may find upsetting or disturbing, though they only involve non-human animals. If you still like to play, click the button. There's your warning. I have no idea what's in this game. Uh, all I know is I feel like any nature nature documentaries, those kind of things, man, I cannot watch those. They give me so much anxiety. Because, you know, like, the babies always die. Mother Nature is a cruel mistress, man. It's, 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 not, good. it's not a good time out there. Anyway, let's, let's go. Here we go. Bowerbird. Also, I, when I was setting up, I noticed it's one of 15, so there's 15 animals. I also have not gotten the same animal twice, so uh, I don't know if I'm seeing all the choices or if there's like more than 15, we'll find out, I guess. Bower bird. Birds. I used to be very impartial about birds, but then I played Huttleful Boyfriend and like, I don't know, some... <laughs> Somewhere along the line, I started to think birds were cute. I don't know. I feel like it's more Moa's com fault completely. Um, but these eyes... Is this the actual color of this bird? It looks like a Photoshop or something. Like, changing colors. This bird's eye is purple, so maybe not. Okay, you chose not a bastard. Are you sure? Bower birds will secure their the best food for themselves by knocking each other out of fruit trees. All right, I mean, look. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do in nature. And is this the worst thing? They just push them out of the tree, but they can fly, right? So... But that face... You know what? No, I, I changed my mind. Are you sure? If a man... <laughs> We're gonna be here forever if I do this for everybody. If a male senses he is making a female uncomfortable, he will tone... <gasps> He will tone down the intensity of his courtship dance. Okay, well now, no, like, no. That's pretty, That I, I appreciate this. Like, human males sometimes don't do this. So, let, he's, no. Not, not a bastard. Okay. Oh my god. More I eels, I eat these. I think. Which, what is Anagol? Is that a more eel? Whatever. I eat eels, but I'm scared of eels. Does the music just die forever now? Whatever, it's fine. Um, eels are gross to look at, but delicious to eat. So maybe... Oh, no, no, okay. Oh, it, it's, it's got stuck. Am I going to learn things about moray eels and now I'm not going to eat them anymore? Because I barely eat any, any kind of anything. Moray eels look vicious because of their menacing way. They open and close their mouths, but they're only talking in water. Oh, taking in water to breathe. You judgmental ba I don't care. I'm still gonna... Why did it make the... <gasps> Dolphins are not! Dolphins are not. Dolphins are wonderful. No. Not a bastard, are you sure? Dolphins have been documented masturbating with live eels. I mean... If, if they're all... I mean, consent is a weird thing in the animal kingdom, but I don't, I don't think... I think that's okay. If the live eels are chill. Or do the live eels even know what's happening? Look, it's fine. Dolphins get a pass because dolphins are dolphins. Who doesn't love a dolphin? 
Dolphins are amazing. <gasps> cuttlefish, no. I freaking love cuttlefish. Are you kidding? Look at this face. They're so cute. Okay, Icho's not a bastard. Are you sure? Cuttlefish change color to trick love rivals. Mm. Males display to attract females on one half of their body, but pretend to be females on the other side so that the other males ignore them. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Nah, they're too cute, though. Now I'm just going off of cute. That's kind of messed up, I guess. But I freaking love cuttlefish. I would like to have one. The whole... I don't think they'd like that. Cormorant. Hmm. I don't like its neck. They look like geese, and I do not like geese. Geese, I think everyone would say. Everyone would pick bastard for geese. Geese are terrible. Cormorants help each other find fish and work together to make sure each bird catches more fish than they would alone. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Cormorants don't leave the nest to poo. Oh, no. And eventually their droppings kill the tree they're nesting in. Do you think the cormorants know that, though? I am a big plant person, right? So I'm, I like the trees, I like the plants. But I don't think it's like they're doing it on purpose. So I think it's not. Oh my god. Sea otters? No way, right? Sea otters have been documented raping baby seals! That's terrible. Sea otters, what are you doing? This has colored my perception of sea otters so much. Sea otters hold hands while they're sleeping so they don't drift apart. Ah, uh, I know. It's really, really cute. Everyone loves that. And it is very cute. But why would they do that to... I, like... The, the babies... No, no. You going. You committed a sin. <laughs> Good work. Nine more animals to go. So far, you've liked animals that have had these traits. Vertebrae. Warm-blooded. What do you think this says about you? Um... I don't... I don't know. We'll find... <gasps> snails! You guys, I love snails. I don't know. Am I going to learn things I don't want to learn about snails? Maybe. I love snails. I love snails. Snails fire love darts before mating, sometimes lodging them in their partner's internal organs or piercing them completely. Huh? Are they supposed to do that? What are the love darts? Is it like a Cupid's Cupid or something? I mean, it's real, so... I don't care. <laughs> Cause look at the snail. They have these stupid little eye things. They're squishy. And they have a cute shell. I love snails so no. No. Hold on. I'm gonna put music because I can't the silence is killing me, so hold on. Alright, we gotta go. I mean what what other music am I gonna pick for this? You have to pick the sun big savannah. When we're talking about animals. Alright, flounders. Um I don't know, people eat flounder, right? Flounder is the name. I don't think. Is it supposed to be this fish in the Little Mermaid? Flounder is the pe pet. I don't know. Pet friend? Friend. Friend is a better word. This face is ugly. <laughs> Am I just gonna go off looks? That's terrible, but I will. Are you sure? Female flounders choose a partner based on how much time he spends courting them and remains faithful. <gasps> Even if big, stronger males are. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. If a flounder finds a clam too big to eat, it will eat the siphon, the clam's only way of eating and breathing. Oh dang, and leave the rest to die. Uh, okay, but like everybody does murder in the animal kingdom. That's how you serve, it's the circle of life or whatever, right? Do you think the flounder knows that? I don't think so, because that's the other thing. Like. It might just be like, I can't eat, it's like trying to eat the clam, I cannot eat the clam, and it's like, what's this bit? And then it eats that. It's not like it's like, I'm gonna murder you. You know what I mean? I think it's, I, I'm gonna say no. 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 Dung beetle. I hate beetles very much, so I'm already very, very biased. But I know nothing about the dung beetle. Except for an Animal Crossing, it rolls up snow, because there's no poo in Animal Crossing. Um... I hate beetles. I hate beetles. Male and female dung beetles work hard to dig nests to provide the best environment for their young. OK. 
Okay, no. Well, you're a good parent, so... Dung beetles will eat the eggs of other beetles so they can lay their own egg in the best dung. Nah, we're gonna go. I don't like beetles. <laughs> they had to really prove it to me. Jay. Oh, this is a pretty bird, right? i never seen a bird like this. It's like a little stripey. Um... Jays not only attack other birds, but mimic their sounds. M mimic the sounds their victims make while they do it. That's pretty messed up. Uh, <laughs> Male jays learn which food their partners like and make sure to bring their favorite during courtship. Oh my god, this one's so split. I have no idea. Eh, I'll give it a pass. Oh my god, prairie dogs! So I used to shoot prairie dogs. Not in real life, not in real life. I should just phrase the sentence better. In in Oregon Trail 2. You know, because like every child had to play that game in school. Uh, you have to hunt if you run out of meat and you always run out of food. At least I always ran out of food. All the time running out of food. I did not plan well as a child. Um, but I refused to shoot the other animals. The deer I couldn't- no, not the deer. The bear I couldn't even if I tried because they were too fast and I was bad. I still am bad at shooters. Uh, the deer I refused. And there's bunnies refused. I was like, we're gonna starve before we, we kill a bun. But the prairie dogs were easy. They were really close to the screen. And they were slow. And I was like, well, they're not as cute as bunnies. And I, I would always, like, I would kill so many of them. And I didn't even feel that bad. I was a mean child. I feel bad now. Because prairie dogs are freaking cute. I would not eat a prairie dog. Um, let's say no and find out something horrible about them, shall we? <gasps> prairie dogs kill baby ground squirrels so they don't grow up and compete for food? That's pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up. I don't like that. Prairie dogs, uh, pra prairie dogs aerate and fertilize the soil, encouraging plants to- Nah, nah, they're not doing that because they want to. They just are, you know, living their life. Nah. I still feel bad about shooting them, but- Clownfish. This is Nemo, you guys. This is Nemo. I like this kind of fish. It's very cute. Um. Clownfish act as a live bait for sea anemones to lure unsuspecting fish into the anemone's stinging testicles. Te tentacles. Sorry. <laughs> um. Well, but I mean, they're just going home. They're just going home. It's other fish that decide to try to do, like, a murder. And by murder, I mean trying to eat them. So, you know what? Nah, they're fine. They're fine. They're, they're fine. They're fine. Great work. Three more animals to go. So far, you've disliked animals that have these traits. Vertebrae. What? Didn't it say I liked the ones that had vertebrae? Whatever. Aquatic. Worth thinking about. Okay, you know what? Well, I guess it's fine. If the game wants to judge me, I'm judging all these animals. It's okay. Newt! I hate... Uh, hate is strong. I am not a big fan of lizards. Geckos are okay if they're small. This looks a little too big. Hold on, we gotta we gotta go back on a music. Wait, I don't have something that long. Okay. Newts wrap their eggs in leaves like little presents to protect them from predators and pollution. That's actually kind of cute, actually. I like that. I think this one... Mm, Male newts pretend to be females to lure away other males from their dis displaying grounds. Then they steal the best spots to attract real females. Nah, I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. Uh, this one doesn't look that much like a frog, kind of. The more frog-like they look, the more I'm out. I don't like frog. Great Buster. Hmm. This could go either way. This black eye. It could go either way. <laughs> like, my first impression was a majestic serial killer. You know what I mean? This eye has no soul. <laughs> so, okay, maybe, maybe. Great Busters honor their- Oh no! They honor their elders! I like that. Older males have fewer fights because the younger males respect them. Ooh, okay. Uh... I feel like I go back and forth between most of these. Great Bustards eat little blister beetles, ooh, which don't provide nutrition but increase their sexual arousal. Well, I don't know. 
Oh my god, I'm so split. Nah, you know what? Nah, it's fine. Nah, you get a pass. You can't help- <gasps> Weasels! I love Weasels. Can't help that he has the soulless eye, you know, like... He born that way, you know, what you gonna do? Weasels are freaking cute! I'm gonna learn something terrible about Weasels. We cannot have pets. Weasels as pets. In other state in America, I know you can. Here you cannot have them, but... I would like- I don't know. Ooh, they have weird little feet, though. I never noticed that. Anyway, um, nah. Here we go. Weasels will ambush small mammals in their burrows, kill them, and then have a snooze. Lining the burrow's burrow with the victim's fur to keep warm. Oh my god, that's pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up. I don't like that. Weasel mums teach their baby kids to hunt within the few weeks of birth, making sure they can fend for themselves as quickly as possible. You know what? Maybe they get a pass because it's like, really, the weasel mum is the one that's bad, right? They they learned it at a young age that this is normal. So for like us, it's like terrifying. But for them, that's all they know. Can you blame the baby? Yeah. Okay. I'll get. I'll get a pass. I'll get a pass. I'll get a pass. Oh, you are an animal advocate. All right. I'm. Pa I'm okay with this. So true forest friend, my friend got true forest friend. So that's not a lot of people. Special group, animal advocate. Second group. Okay, I'm glad that I'm. I think that's accurate. I feel like that's accurate. I'm a little judgy, but not that judgy. But I'm a little judgy. <laughs> animal agnostic is the most. Animal critic. Animal alarmist. I think you just can't use like human value sets on animals that are living in the wild like it's tough out there you know survival man but some deserve punishment not punishment that's a little strong some deserve a, a stern talking to <laughs> especially the otters <laughs> you're an animal advocate deep down you know that animals can't be held to human that's what i was just saying can't be held to human moral standards but sometimes an animal crosses the line and you just can't help but judge absolutely i'm not even ashamed to say that this moral the solid moral line will guide you through every attenborough documentary from now on and ruin the viewing experience for anyone who happens to be in the same room i keep it to myself i feel like i keep my judgments to myself you know i sure keep them off the internet so you know certain like drag things i didn't like that dress i keep it to myself or i tell like my friend and then we keep it to ourselves. I think it's, it's, well, uh, I think it's normal human nature to be judgmental in some capacity. But if you're doing it way too much, I, it's all a balance. And I think it's less about your internal having a judgment and more what you do with it. If you should check yourself if you're judging, your, judging people all the time in your head, you'd be like, why am I doing that kind of thing? But if you do it a little bit, I don't like that outfit. Little, especially things like that. A very innocuous thing. Or something like this. It's like... Whatever, you know? I think it's okay. It's just when people, like, bring it online, or, like, get really intense with it, or, like, spam people, like, with hate message and stuff like that, I can't understand that. That That's taken it way too far. Oh, wait, we can play again with new animals? There's Capybara! <laughs> Kelp Gull is an utter bastard. Capybara is definitely not a bastard. I want to know. I want to get the Capybara. It's not letting me play again. Hold on. I'm gonna cut. I'm. We are. We are doing the Capybara. I need to know. I need to know. Okay. This isn't a Capybara, but it. It's similar. So there's a ton of animals then. But whatever. We're gonna. We're gonna do some greatest hits here. But Waterville. I need to know. This is a very cute little baby. Voles or what? I don't know. Waterbulls catch frogs, eat just their legs, and throw away the rest of the- That's pretty messed up. Waterbulls keep their burrows clean by devoting individual rooms to different kinds of food and having a separate toilet room. <gasps> I love a clean animal. Oh my god, I hate bald eagles so much. Well, I don't hate them, but I'm just so scared of them. <laughs> I am terrified of bald eagles. I saw one at like a nature reserve one time. I feel like it's my bun instincts or something. 
I used to be a tiny animal that got eaten by a bald eagle in another life or something. I had such a strong fear response to seeing this bald eagle. They are huge. They're freaking huge. They're like as big as me. They're terrifying. I do not. And then they sit like this. They look at you. It's so bad. Oh my God. It's so bad. They're so scary. But I like Sam Eagle and he's a bald eagle. He's the only good bald eagle because he's a Muppet. <laughs> Most bird species let their weakest chicks die, but bald eagles feed their smaller chicks first and stop fights in the nest. What is your bad point? I want to know, even though I think I already judged you. Bald eagles steal food from other birds, aggressively attacking and even forcing their victims to throw up food. Oh my god! Yeah. Terrible. We knew this, though. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna find- I want to find the capybara. Hold on. This is the one everyone said was bad, so I need to know, uh, why. Kelp gulls protect their nests with vigor, dive bombing much larger birds to drive them away. Kelp gulls strip the skin off whales' backs when they come to the surface to breathe, especially targeting baby whales, which can't shake them off as- Oh my god, this is maybe- this one is real strong. Wow, you're terrible. A sleepy lizard. They pair for life. If one is killed on the road, the other will stay with the body. Nudging it gently and trying to revive it. I'm gonna cry. That's so sad. Male sleepy lizards use their jaws to grab females by the head when mating, leaving them with visible wounds. Um. Nah. <laughs> the, the partner thing made me really sad, so. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna, I need to find a capybara. We need to know. I, even though I feel like I don't want to know anything bad about Capybara, I need to know the truth. I need to know the truth. Oh no, I love Seahorse. I do. They're one of my faves. Oh no! Seahorses save energy by using sea urchins as unwilling taxis. Nah, that's not- that's not even anything. That's nothing. Nothing. You can't- we can't- Giant anteater? That's really big. I love seahorse, so that was like not even a problem. Giant anteater? During a drought, anteaters use their big claws to dig out water holes and let other forest animals drink and breathe with them. Oh. Anteaters fight by swatting at each other with their large claws and sitting on their, or even riding their opponents. Nah, that was nice of them to do the water thing. I cannot find this copy about it to save my life. I feel like, where is it? Wombat? Yeah. You bet, I bet. You have a face of mischief. One bet babies leave their mother's pouch after eight months, but their mothers will let them back inside if they get frightened. Oh. Mm. Wombats kill any intruders trying to enter their burrow by crushing the animal's skull between their rear end and the roof of the burrow. No, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh my god, squid are terrible. Squid, I'm so scared of squid. <laughs> Even though I eat squid, sometimes. Squids remove scientific equipment from each other to make swimming easier. I want to know what the bad fact is. Squids cover their eggs in a special pheromone that makes fights break out amongst males. So the toughest ones end up fertilizing the eggs. No, they're terrible. Especially giant squid, forget it. Evil. Hold on. I've, I've only did the ones that I think are interesting. So, okay, pea fall. Definitely. Pea hens work together to look after their babies and raise all of the pea chicks in a group. What's a bad fact? Peacocks make fake mating noises to convince females that they are more sexually active than they really are. Actually, that's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah, you know what? You shouldn't judge by appearances. That, that's fine. You get a pass. <gasps> rats! I love rats! They're so cute! Look at the fleas! They have such a bad reputation, you know? Because of the spreading uh, plagues and whatnot, but, you know, they're very cute. Um, no. Rats have a strict social hierarchy. If food or living space gets scarce, they kill the lowest order members. I mean, Japan kind of did that. I mean, I'm not saying that was right, but I'm saying that humans have done this. And it's not lowest This is a true thing. I had to read the- I had to do some, like, documentary research. I don't know. It was- it was a not a good time. It was really depressing. It was so depressing. But, like, in certain towns in Japan after the war, like, a rural place, I don't know how it was. Basically, like, Japan had, like, a total famine, and there was not enough food. So, like, a lot of different towns would, like, take the oldest people, once you got to a certain age, and they would, like, leave- they would make the child of the parent 
So like you're an adult child, you have to take your elderly parent out into the woods and either kill them or leave them to starve. I was not the same after reading. I it was so bad. It was so bad. Um I don't know how I got onto that topic, but uh I'm in no rats get a pass, because rats are so cute. Oh, oh no, wolf spiders. I I can't even look at this picture very long. Wolf spiders like have violent like palps on their heads that they use to softly serenade potential mates. Nope. Nope. Lions. Uh, probably bad. Probably bad, me. Lionesses share parenting duties and babysit, protect, and even suckle each other cubs. Uh, maybe not. Lions prefer to scavenge rather than hunt and are more likely to steal food from hyenas. Nah, it's fine. I actually appreciate that they don't hunt. Where is the- where is the coffee bottle? Where is he? I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Okay, rabbits, you better not- you better not make me change my mind. You are my favorite animal of all time. Come on, rabbits. Rabbits keep other rabbits out of their territory by doing extra smelly poos and using a gland in their anus to add secretions to each pellet. Nah, that's fine. I mean, your sin is stinky poo. It's fine. I- This is such a cute bird! Great tit. Great tits raid the food stores of smaller birds. Nah. Oh my god, I hate flamingos. <laughs> I really have no reason, I just don't like their necks. They remind me of those like yokai that have the long necks and I just don't like flamingos. And they smell weird. I mean, that's not their fault because they eat the shrimp and stuff and I don't like shrimp either. Flamingos help their chicks hatch by gently removing pieces of shell as they hatch. That's actually very sweet and I like that. Flamingos are more likely to pick fights with left-handed birds, which curve their necks to the left because they're different. Yeah, you're bad. I can't find this capybara. I've done this like three times and I can't find- where is the elusive capybara? Why? I got it! I got it finally! I spent maybe too much time on this. Okay, capybara. Capybaras use their enormous buck teeth to bite their rivals' faces in fights. Hold on, what's the good- what's the good thing about- I, I'm already leaning towards he's- they're fine. Capybaras are super chill, and let other animals sit on top of them apparently without expecting anything in return. They're so cute. Their fur is very- fur? They're like little, uh, they're very rough. They remind me of those like little- not lufa, what is it called? Those like little brown things that you use in the kitchen to like scrub pans. They feel kind of like that. But they're really cute, and they make like a little like sound. It's so cute. Not gonna judge the coffee bottle. All right, that's enough of this. Let's, let's, now that I got the coffee bottle, let's wrap it up. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed. It's a super short one, but I I liked it. I thought it was fun. Go check it out for yourself, and and either be more judgy or less judgy than me. Whatever you know. It's interesting to learn about animals and like I don't know certain things you wouldn't expect from certain animals. Like what are our own biases? Because like, oh, well, otters are so sweet and soft, but it's like, you don't know they have a vicious side. You know, we judge a lot about like what's cute. What we grow up with is like cute animals versus not cute animals. And we think more desirable and undesirable traits. I think that's kind of messed up, but it's interesting to look at and think about how we think about different animals. Nah. So until I see whatever I see next, remember to be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care and I'll see you later. Okay, bye bye.